Hello international students. We're going to show you today how to apply as an international student to CSN. The first thing you're going to do is go to the CSN homepage. That's csn.edu. And at the very top right in the menu, you will click on international students. The next thing you will do is click on admissions and enrollment on the right hand side. And we recommend that you read the information on this page to familiarize yourself with the different programs that CSN offers. We have the application deadlines here for you so you know when you need to apply by and submit all of your requirements. English language proficiency requirements and there um, is further there's a further list here for you to look at. This is a detailed application and enrollment process so you know the step-by-step -step process on how to apply and what is expected of you depending on your student type, whether you are an initial student applying from your home country, a transfer student, a change of status student, or a returning student. And once you are ready to apply, you can click here to begin your application. But if you keep scrolling down, you will see that we have further information regarding health insurance and the costs. So how much it costs to live and study in the US and how much tuition is at CSN. When you're ready to apply, click on start your application. And the first thing you will do here is create an, an account. It's very important that you only create one account so that you do not have duplicate records in our system. You will enter your email and I'm going to create a fake account here. And I'm also going to create a fake student, but you will enter your actual information when you apply. You will also need to create a password and make sure that you follow the requirements here for a password. And once all of your requirements here are green, click register. And just continue with the information here that is required. Your gender and your date of birth. and your passport information. And like I said, I'm just creating false information here for this pretend student. And you will also need to upload your passport. and your country of permanent residence and update. No US phone number. Oh, so no dashes. Just numbers. And your information has been updated. And the next step you will do here is click on apply to CSN to continue with your application. 
And here you will select the type of application based on your student type. So I'm going to select initial application for my example. And you will select the term. Right now the only option is spring 2022 and click continue. And here is the actual menu when you apply. This is everything that will be required of you when you apply to CSN. So the top, the very top information here where my name is, is just um, my information and the type of application I selected and the semester. Right below are instructions on the deadlines and the requirements that I need to submit based on the application I selected. And right below that is the section where I attach the documents that I need to submit, so all of my requirements. Over on the right hand side is learning content. Learning content is just information that you need to read and once you finish reading the information there will be a checkbox here for completed. The next section is material submissions is the application fee that you will need to pay and then the next section is questionnaires. This section is the actual application where and it has different sections that you will need to complete. And the last part is the signature document where you will just um, acknowledge that you have read and understand the information. So we will start here with the very first section where I'm going to upload the documents that are here in this list. So the first one that I'm going to select is my passport and attach. And you will notice that once I click upload, oh, sorry, I will select passport here and select upload. You will notice that the passport successfully uploaded here. So as you upload more documents, you will see that they will be uploaded into that section. Here is my bank statement now. And now I'm uploading the English proficiency. and sponsor letter. And the last one is high school, transcript or diploma. So that section is now complete and we will move on to learning content. So if you just click on the link, you're just going to read this information and acknowledge that you have read the information. Click OK. And you will now see a check mark under completed. So you will do the same for all of these three links. So after you've completed the learning content, the next section is application fee. So you will click on pay now. And it is $25 and you will click continue. Oh. You will need to verify the image so that you are not, to verify that you are not a robot. What is the first letter of the alphabet? <laughs> Either audio or photo. Here you will enter your credit card information.
and enter your credit card type, your address, your email and phone number, and you will click continue. In this example, we will not um, proceed with the payment because this is not a real student, but you will go ahead and fill in your information when you complete your application and your application fee. The next section is questionnaires, the permanent home address. So you will enter your permanent home address and I have one here pre-filled, but it's basically your street address, your city, your province or territory, and your postal code and your home country. And you click submit. The next one you will see that it's completed and the next one is personal information. So you will enter your city of birth. You can select from the list. And country of citizenship. Your marital status. And your US phone number. And no dashes. And then how did you hear about CSN? And are you Hispanic or Latino? Your racial category? And if you have ever attended any of the ENSHI institutions and you have a student ID number, you would enter that information here. And do you have any dependents coming with you to the US, either a spouse or a child? Yes or no, you just answer this question and submit. And the next section is US information. Do you live in the USA, yes or no? We're going to say no in this example. And if you have attended any previous college or universities, you will enter that information here. So I'm going to skip the college and university section for now um, because it is also optional for educational and career goals. Are you applying to an ESL program? So this would be a full-time ESL program, yes or no. I'm going to say no because I'm going to apply for a degree program. So because I'm applying for a degree program, I am required to submit my educational goal. Um, this can be 200 words or more. And basically you should state your reasons for attending CSN, what your major will be, and if you have any plans to transfer to a university. So I'm going to just type this for now as my example. And the next one is high school information. So I'm going to, if you, if you can search here for your high school name if it's here. If you don't see it in the list, you will type in like it says here, unknown high school and the appropriate country. So I'm going to select this first one for high school. Have you graduated? Yes. And your graduation date. and submit.
The next section is International Admissions. And here I will request, I will select the semester I am applying for. And I would like the degree program. You can read here a little bit more about the programs that were on our website. And I am degree seeking and my major. And submit. The next one is mail options for your I-20. Here you will select um, how you want your I-20 sent to you. If you would like it by express mail, if you would like to pick it up if you are currently in Las Vegas, or if you're a transfer or returning student, it will be issued to you after you register for classes. So since I'm applying as initial, I'm gonna select to have it sent by express mail and submit. And the last one in this section is release of information and this is also optional. If I want to release information regarding my status as a student, I can enter my parents' names or my sponsor's name here, and this is optional. And the last one is the signature documents, where you are certifying that you are the person completing this information and you acknowledge that everything you have completed is true and correct. So you just click here to sign digitally and accept. And now that all of the check marks here that are required are completed, the next thing you will do is click Submit. Once you've paid your application fee, it will allow you to submit your application and once all of your documents are uploaded. At any time during the application, you can save and come back, log in to complete your application and submit later. If you have any questions, our contact information is down here below, phone number and email. If you have any questions regarding the process, the requirements, or how to fill in this information, you can contact us.